I know everybody cares about my opinion on serious analytical basketball. My works have reflected that such as KD makes Trey Young feel uncomfortable and JaVale McGee takes a 200 IQ foul. The true issues with our league. I'm gonna dip my toes in the world of NBA controversy, a world where even the safest NBA takes are put into question daily by the boiling cauldron of hell we call Twitter. It's like we combine the collective fan bases of New York and Philadelphia and spew out all the pure hatred and vitriol into one website that covers the whole entire world. And I'm here to get my dick wet into the world of hot takes. Except I'm not just putting in the tip. I'm going balls deep, full Dwight Howard. And you guys won't be ready for the insane 200 IQ reasoning for each placement I have on these tier lists. I am an expert. And if you question any of my takes, you're either stupid, mentally unwell, or not me. And if you notice any bias, it's because I'm a Warriors fan. And you can play with my genitals if you think my opinion matters. Well, enough chitter chattering, let's rip off the band-aid, pull out the rubbers and get straight into this shit. Let's start with the West, the best of the West, the bank of the West, balls of the West. For my backcourt, you know what? Fuck it. If anyone wants to know all my picks, you can have it right now. Click off. I don't care. Here's the whole list. Now let's get to what else Stephen Curry. Flight thinks he's the biggest fan of Curry, but he's afraid to admit he's gay for Curry. And while I am a straight male who doesn't have a history of being suspect in any way, shape, or form, the beginning of the season had me feeling some sort of way with every swish. He's been playing bad recently. The whole entire Warriors organization has forgotten to shoot and this 16 game slump or so has been going on too long. But it's hard to be mad at him for playing like Ben Simmons if he wasn't afraid of shooting, when he has all of those special moments. To me, it's an easy lock. This is kind of the story season he was meant to have last year carrying into this one, with the 3 point record and all that stuff, so he's my first. Next is Ja Morant. The amount of ruined basketball boners this man has given me is just horrifying. The amount of times he's fucked over my Warriors has made me feel conflicted. I like his play style, I like the way he plays basketball, and I like the way he passes the ball, like in basketball. He also finishes very well. But seriously, this man almost makes me forgive him for ending the Warriors' season last year, and he's done it once again against my Warriors team that couldn't buy a basket. The Martians could be pointing their laser death beam at Earth and put the universe on the line. Even Iguodala wouldn't be able to save this team. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, John Morant. He's good. I always gotta make it about the Warriors. You guys know I'm a psychopath Warriors fan. You should get used to it. Next, let's talk about Nikola Jokic. A lot of people are saying he's the MVP. He's playing like the MVP. But I have a personal grudge with this because the whole reason Steph didn't win last year was that the Warriors were dog ass, dog turd, dog water, what the dog doing bad. So now everyone is crying for Jokic to be MVP the year that Steph has a winning team. And I believe everyone should politely shut the fuck up for just one year so Steph has a chance to prove he's the MVP when he actually has a chance before the younger Jokic goes on to terrorize the league for several more years. You guys know the drill. He passes well, shoots well, finishes well, posts well, and even defends well. The main thing people were bitching and complaining about basketball wise is now one of his strengths. And the only thing people complain about in terms of him is that he plays for the Nuggets. But if you have the same opinion as Nick Wright then you know your opinion is just wrong. Okay now we have LeBron who has been absolutely carrying the Lakers. Do I have to say anything about LeBron? If you have an opinion on LeBron, chances are they're not going to change thanks to an all-star selections made by a guy joking about sucking dick and Kevin Durant's ashy ass ankles. So we'll head on to Cat. I want to put Draymond or Gobert here, but Cat is kind of the offense of the Timberwolves. Every time I hear something about the Timberwolves, it's, wow, they're finally catching steam. But every time I check the standings, they're still kind of mid. I think Cat fits the bill of the NBA starter more. So that's why he's here as the final front court spot. And nobody cares whether you're a starter or reserve except for maybe Skip Bayless. Not saying he's actually made that argument before, but it would be an argument he'd make. Next we got Donovan Mitchell. Similar numbers to Ja, more experienced. Why isn't he a starter? Because why not? 
Reserves are still all-stars and I think Jaws' season has been more surprising, with them right next to the Jazz in the standings, and him not having another bona fide star alongside him. Booker is right next to Mitchell and he's also scary. He shoots the three ball better now, so that's cool. Look at all the other guards next to Curry. These are the guys I'm worried about in the West. They make me absolutely shit my pants as a Warriors fan. Now we have Draymond, who's not anything interesting as far as All-Stars go, but he has a great impact on our team. As noticeable of an impact as the blowout loss to the Bucks we just had. He assists, defends, and doesn't score. But he does everything else well. He's my defensive player of the year. Gobert is also on here. He does defense pretty good too. Rebounds good. But I have a feeling he'll be left out because the media loves to bully him. But Gobert can tell the media to go tear a new asshole for themselves. If my Warriors bias wasn't obvious already, it should be now, as I have Andrew Wiggins on here. He's shooting a career high from 3, his free throws are still pretty shit, but he does well as the second scoring option on the Warriors. And if Kyle Korver can make the All-Star game, I think Wiggins should too. I know, I know, my argument is incredible and bulletproof. I'm bored, Chris Paul blah blah blah, point god he's one of the best, and Luka blah blah blah, onto the east. We play DeMar DeRozan tomorrow as of this recording, and I'm absolutely terrified of whatever beating he and the Bulls have in store for the Warriors. He hit back-to-back buzzer-beating game winners not even a day in between, and he's been the guy for the Bulls. The Hawks have been playing like their wings were shot, but Trey has been balling out. This is also a biased move since he's on my fantasy team and he's killing it, but trust me, he's been playing better than Beal and Harden. The next three I don't have to explain, KD, Embiid, and Giannis, as long as they're healthy, there's no chance these spots are taken. Every one of them have MVP hopes. Hopes that I hope don't become reality because Steph is in contention. Beal has been a bit better recently. He's gone back to scoring like he should, but he could be replaced and I wouldn't be mad. Wizards are still mid though, so yeah. James Harden, another guy who could or could not be replaced. He's playing fine now, but that start was rough. He's gone back to shooting hella free throws though, so James Harden wins again, I guess. Just like father time, it's inevitable. James Harden is going to get his free throws either freaking way. I'm going to cover Garland and Allen together. The Cavs look great. Jarrett has played great defense. Meanwhile, Garland has been an offensive machine and one of the most improved players. The man's floaters look real nice. Levine doesn't need to be explained, a very important part of Chicago's success and all that fun stuff. Shoots threes, shoot mid-ranges, goes inside, he could do it all, and he shows defensive effort. Jimmy always plays like an all-star, I don't know if he'll be available though, but I'll put him here for now. Tatum right now is better than Jalen in my opinion, but I wanted to put Jalen in so bad. He counts as a guard, so it's not like I could even replace JT with him anyway. But yeah, he's also been one of my fantasy basketball greats. Now onto my snubbed snobbed snow globe snubs. I've got a lot of them because there's a lot of players in a league who are good players. What a shocker. Tyler was a great pickup for me in fantasy, but he doesn't have as strong of a case since he's six man of the heat. Drew does great things, but there's so many good guards in the East. Same with Fred. He truly is having an all-star caliber year and I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up there. Miles was carrying my fantasy team early on. The name of my fantasy team is still Miles Bridges is carrying, but he's fallen back to earth a little. Still a good young player though. Same with Lamelo. PG and Bam are injured if I'm not mistaken. Chris Middleton blew the Warriors' back out. He's good. Sabonis is on a bad Pacers team. I doubt he'll make it, but he's also good. Shea hits game winners and is the real deal, but Book and Mitchell just edge him out. Ant is having a good season, but the Wolves aren't good enough to have two All-Stars. Especially with the amount of guards in the West already. Same with Ingram. Lillard might be out the whole year. We don't even know what's going on with him. Murray could still replace Chris Paul, but I still hold a grudge against him for deciding to destroy the Warriors the one time I get to watch it in person. And while I want to put Poole in there so bad, he's going to be a sixth man for the rest of the year, and he's just not that level quite yet. Anyway... That's my all-star list. Feel free to spit all over my tier list and tell me that I should bleach my eyeballs because I don't know basketball. 
that the all-star game means everything to you and I have made a personal attack on you or your favorite player for not including them on this list. Also, I only had a selection to choose from. Sorry if I couldn't add Taco Fall or Clay Thompson to this because they weren't on the list I chose. Please get me to 500 subs, I'd really appreciate it. This video's a wrap.